as you see on the screen. Let me talk to you some overview thing about uh, multi-dimensional gradient method. First of all, in the method I'm going to de explain to you in here, we need to make use of the information about the derivative of the gradient of the function that you want to optimize. Well, because we make use of the derivative information of the objective function, therefore we can expect that the optimum solution can be found quicker as compared to the direct search method that I already explained in the earlier lecture. Uh, in this so-called multi-dimensional gradient method, we also need to have something of a good initial guess of the solution. And also, because the derivative of the objective function is required, we want to make sure that the function is differentiable. Otherwise, we cannot obtain the derivative. So, that is the overall or the general observation or remark about multi-gradient method. Now, for the next few slides, let's see what happened. Let me very quickly explain to you what do I mean by gradient. Well, gradient basically it means you take the derivative of something with respect to some independent variable. Okay? Now, uh, for example, suppose I give you a function f and that function f is a function of two variables x and y. Then we say the gradient of f we use the notation delta f is the same thing by saying the partial derivative of f with respect to x time i you can think like i you can think like a unit vector in the direction x plus partial derivative of f with respect to y time j which is like a unit vector in the direction y so basically for a scalar for a scalar function f with two variable x and y the derivative of the gradient of f sh should be a vector uh, it should be a vector function it is not a scalar function okay so that is the uh, introduction about the gradient all right after you understand about the definition of gradient of a function, let me see if I have some example for you. So here is a small example about gradient. Suppose I give you the function f is a function of x and y, which is given like f equal to x square y square. And here we say we want to calculate what is the gradient of f. So, first thing we say, what is the partial derivative of f with respect to x? Holding, let's say, y is constant. So, the partial derivative of f with respect to x, assuming y is a constant, is 2xy square. And you ask a similar question, what is the partial derivative of f with respect to y, assuming x is constant? And for the given function, in this case, the answer is 2x squared times y. Now, that partial derivative of f with respect to x and y will give you like a, an expression in terms of x and y. But suppose you want to figure out what is the gradient or the derivative of f at the current location x equal to 2 and y equal to 1. Well, in that case, then all you have to do, you just replace x equal to 2, y equal to 1. Then you will get 
the numerical value for del f over del x. And that should be equal to 4. Same thing, you take the derivative of f with respect to y, which is 2x squared y in this case, and then at the current point, x equal to 2, y equal to 1. So you just replace x by 2, and you replace y by 1. So the answer is 8. So the gradient of f in this example, the gradient of the function f evaluated at the current point x equal to 2, y equal to 1, it is given as a vector which I call 4i plus 8j. See? This is 4 times i. And this is 8 times j. So that is the numerical value for the gradient of the function evaluated at the current point x equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. So that should help you at least to figure out the gradient of a given function having two variables evaluated at the current point. Let's see what happened to the next slide. Haitian, okay. When you take the second derivative of a function f that have two variables, x and y, what you have will be a matrix, and that matrix we call a Haitian matrix, okay? Now, remember now, just to make sure you understand, uh, to start with, you have f is a function of x and y, and that is given. So from that you say the gradient of the scalar function f, that will be equal to something like a partial derivative of f with respect to x, and then a partial derivative of f with respect to y, right? Okay, now with that information we say, can you take the derivative one more time? Well, the derivative of this term with respect to x, it will be del square f over del x square. The derivative of this same term with respect to y, it will be del square f over del x del y. Similarly, the derivative of del f over del y with respect to x, that will be del square f over del y del x, and the derivative of this same term again with respect to y will be del square f over del y square. So you can see very clearly if a function f is a function of two variables, x, y, gradient del f will be a vector. The second derivative, which people call it Haitian matrix, will be a square matrix, two by two in this case. Uh, many times you can see from this example, this matrix is also symmetrical, okay? So this slide will help you to explain what happened when you take the second derivative of a f function that having two variable. When you take the second derivative, it will be a two by two Haitian matrix. The same concept you can generalize. If you have three variable, x, y, z, f is a function of x, y, z, then gradient of f will be a vector which have three components and the Haitian matrix, the second derivative, will be a 3 by 3 square matrix instead of a 2 by 2. So that is what you need to know about the Haitian matrix for the second derivative of a function which have two or more than two variables. All right, let's go to the next slide. Well, if you take the, de the determinant of the Haitian matrix, you may have 
three possibility. If the determinant of the Hessian matrix is positive, and the second derivative f with respect to x squared is positive, then you say that function small f has a local minimum. On the other hand, if the Hessian matrix, the determinant is positive, but the second derivative f with respect to x squared is negative, then you say the function f has a local maximum. On the last case, if the determinant of the Hessian matrix is negative, then you have a saddle point. So remember now, when you have the gradient equal to zero, that is only give you the necessary requirement to get the optimum solution. Uh, you have to check the second derivative in order to know it is minimum or maximum or saddle point. So the Haitian matrix, which is the second derivative, is also very, very important. All right, so after those things,